Hey guys, it's me, Sly Reaper, and my friend, Section 8. And this video is pretty much a update on what's going to go on in my channel now, and kind of a little life that I've been having recently, and kind of stupidly. The first thing I want to talk about is texting and driving, and I'm going to have you kind of explain that a little bit. <laughs> Wait, what do I got to explain this shit? Well, okay. First off, I was in an accident this week involving someone texting and driving. I'm okay to a point still a little shook it up don't you fucking dare <laughs> but i want to kind of talk to you guys about texting and driving and why you shouldn't do it because you're putting your life at risk and the person that's behind you in front of you or to your sides and and for the main point it's state law here in ohio that you can't text and drive no it's what a thousand dollar fine yeah, something like that if you're caught by the cops, and <laughs> let me tell you, OSP doesn't fuck around. And to be honest, guys, if you're texting and driving, it can wait. I could have been hospitalized for the jackass that you turned into a highway lane texting and driving, and it was not good. And all because that person texted and drived, I had a crash. And honestly, whatever you're texting, it can wait, because... To be honest, if you cause an accident and you die or someone else dies, you will be in serious trouble and or in jail. And on a PA commercial, which... But if you die, you don't have to worry about any consequences. You're already dead. True. Though that is a consequence you will... Never, really, never wake up from. Have to live with. If you believe in that whole multiple lives, afterlife thing. Nirvana, reincarnation. Yeah, that thing. Buddhist kind of thing. Shut up. Hey, I'm not, I'm not on the religion. It's a really good religion. But no, just to be honest, guys, don't text and drive. It can wait. You're going to get someone killed, or you're going to get someone seriously injured. Kids play on the streets. They don't look out for cars as much as they should. You end up losing... Would you think with helicopter parents nowadays that those kids would be supervised to the nth degree? Yeah, but... But apparently, no. See, the kids aren't supervised, or their parents are literally in their backpack. Pretty much. And in a, psychology, in a psychology point of view, we can't multitask. It's literally our brain just switching off what we were just doing about maybe 10 seconds ago. So when you're texting and driving, and then you look up, and then you look down, in that point one of a second, a car could turn without its turn signal and hit you, which it would be their fault, but you're texting and driving. And which automatically puts you at fault. Yes. At least here in Ohio. I don't know what the rest of the states do. Yeah, but don't risk it. If it's important, then pull into a parking lot or just send the text before you go and just tell them, hey, I'm going to the mall, I'm going to get food, and I'll text you when I get there. Because you don't want to risk your life or the risk or lives of others because of a stupid act like, I don't know, you turn on the highway. Yeah, texting can wait, and I'm not saying this because it's something to talk about. No, I'm saying it because I nearly lost my life because someone was texting and driving and could have potentially killed me and others around them. So, and which would have not only impacted you, of course, it would have impacted all your friends, your family, your girlfriend, your girlfriend's living situation. I mean, so many people get affected by this that aren't even a part of the crash. And yet, guess what? One person does something stupid, all of a sudden 30, 40 people are affected by it. And I know people are like, well, certain people don't care about me. People care about you as much as everybody does. Yes, there are going to be people that hate you. There are going to be people that, you know, don't like you per se. But just don't do anything stupid because then it gives you a bad reputation and it could affect your job, could affect your career you want to go into, college, anything. And it's just, it's not worth it at any point in time and it's just it's bad yeah and lighter news I will be I know I haven't really been uploading a lot to my YouTube channel lately I've been doing a lot of college work <laughs> work <laughs> gotta get a career somehow <laughs> no college ain't gonna get you there but I will actually be um, forwarding most of the vlogs now to my new channel and I will post that in the description on tomorrow's video. And I will be uploading a lot more game videos. And Wednesday will now be either <clears throat> the recordings of 
sniper kills or just some really whacked out crazy deaths on multiple games. And then Thursday, either starting next week or the week after, be Throwback Thursday where I'll be playing some Gears of War or some Fallout 3 and kind of eventually. Oh, kicking it old school now, are you? Yes, yes I am. All the way back to Fallout 3. It's what, four years ago? Yeah. <laughs> you know four or five years ago now? No. Closer to six now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Let's yeah. see. Fallout 3 was... Yeah, yeah, it was 2010. The new Vegas came out, what? 2012? Yeah, there about. Yeah. yeah, holy crap. But in, other, in other news, I will actually be doing projects of Section 8 with a story I'm writing that I'm going to be turning into a YouTube series. I am actually still writing this script and writing everything out for that. I have actually gotten a lot more ideas from the books I've been reading, which... If you do want to be an inspiring writer, I suggest going to Books and Nobles, Amazon, anywhere you can find books on how to write and... Did you just say Books and Nobles? Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> <laughs> My head's still not screwed Books up, and right? Company, Barnes and Nobles, or Barnes and Noble, because there is no S at the end of it. That's what people keep saying, Barnes and Nobles, though. I know, because, well, in Ohio, we add an S to everything. It's like J.C. Pennies. It's J.C. Penny. Penny. The British do that too, don't worry. Oh, okay, so we're not alone. No. In fact, I think Californians do that too. Like, if you Nobody are, cares if, about them. If you, if you are from California, we're not dogging on you. Well, a little I'm bit. Not. Just, <laughs> just uh, a little bit. Uh, hopefully, your guys' water situation is fixed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it should be. They're right next to the ocean. But that's too salty for them. Ooh, get a desalinizer. In other words, it will be coming out in the near future, probably in a month or two. Yeah, it'll probably get... be posted on both of our channels. Yes, and I will post the link to Section Section Eight channel, and which I'm going to actually be doing a lot more videos with. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to do a new, uh, new segment. I kind of want to ask you guys, what do you guys kind of think about? I know this is kind of a weird side term, but what do you guys think about the presidential debate and... Oh, God, don't even start this crap. Wait, wait. And how it's going to kind of fuck over everywhere else. I'm just kind of... If Hillary like, becomes president, there's going to be a military coup. If Trump becomes president, there's going to be a military coup. Pretty much right. If Sanders becomes president, people are moving out of the country. I thought that was if Trump became president. Oh, uh, yeah. If Trump moves out. If Trump becomes president. If Trump moves out. <laughs> yeah, if Trump, moves out. No, if Trump becomes president, Sharpton's moving out of the country, which I'd be okay with that. And in other news, what kind of games do you guys want me to be releasing on my channel and section H channel we actually kind of ironically have two different systems so yeah, he's Xbox and I'm PlayStation so I'm on the master race that's PC my friend now they get viruses <laughs> yeah and actually in earlier news Xbox Live got hacked <laughs> about yep. two three days ago and for eight for no they got hacked over the course of like eight days yeah like, and they out completely out, like outages up, for eight or nine days completely oh fucked God. up my black op experience and everything which, what do you guys think about that too? About the whole Xbox getting hacked and years earlier, PS, the PlayStation getting hacked. Hey, we got PlayStation got hacked by a guy who got fired from the company who wrote the programming for the security. Ah, okay, that makes sense. They fired him, and then he's like, "Well, guess what? Didn't Microsoft been hiring him? Yeah. So guess who just screwed you guys over? <sighs> Let's hope we don't fire him. <laughs> no, how much you want to bet? That's why this happened. They fired him, oh so he yeah, acted that one you know too. How bad that would be. That'd be hilarious. But no, if you guys want to see more videos of us collabing or, you know, things we can talk about in my Q and A's and yeah. a lot more. Yeah, most he does mostly the Call of Duty videos. I'll probably do Battlefield, Far Cry, three, four, and Primal because Primal's so awesome. But I'll probably be doing those. Maybe a bit of Fallout. Oh, okay. One last thing before we go. Pre-order, pre-order Doom. Oh yes, pre-order now at GameStop. If you pre-order, you'll get, I think, a couple of map editing features that are extra, some emblems, some extra weapons, and skins. And I know I am saying this as a former GameStop employee. Yes, I recommend it highly. I also saw gameplay from Section Eight on Far Cry Primal. 
Show them your short hair. <laughs> on Far Cry Primal, and I totally suggest getting it. It's not technology based at all, and it's actually way better than I thought it was going to be. If you guys played Far Cry 4 and you did the Shangri La sections of the game, it basically expands upon that. It's not Shangri La, but it goes back to about 10,000 BC. I'm not going to say BC because that's complete crap. Before actual entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Bay. <laughs> <laughs> but now it depends upon that. You get spears, you get clubs, you get two different. You get a long bow, a short bow. Um, you get throwing chunk. You get bo- chunks of bone. You can throw at people. Chunks of rock. You can throw at people. You get to tame beasts. I've got actually I've tamed them all now at this point. But I've got like honey badgers, saber tooth tigers, cave bears. Which honey badgers are the bitchiest of bitches to get? <sighs> They will fuck up your day, just like the Eagles in Fallout 4. Spe- four spears. Four spears is what it took to kill one of those fuckers. Yeah, the Eagle in Fallout, in, uh, not Fallout 4, in um, Far, Cry Far Cry 4 completely yeah. fucked up everybody's day. It's like, oh, well, same honey badger. Honey, same thing with the honey badger in that, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, but why was yeah, that fucking... But you can ride the mammoths. I freaking say honey badger. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can ride the mammoths, the saber tooth tigers, and the cave bears into combat. Which is kind of awesome. Especially when you're riding on top of the bear and you watch him just bite into somebody's neck and kill him. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I want the game so bad. But no, I said you don't have it, I do. No. <laughs> I also suggest pre ordering <sighs> Homefront Revolution. Oh my god, yes, I've been I've waiting. Heard, I've been waiting for the sequel to that game. I've heard so many good reviews. I know when I played the first game, which I, <sighs> they will be actually releasing that on the Xbox for uh, backwards compatibility. But that game was kind of a little glitchy, but that's what made it fucking amazing. Oh my god, I loved that game for all of its flaws. I mean, yes, the graphics weren't great, the gameplay was pretty linear, but it was fun. And it gave a new spin to that whole Red Dawn thing. Instead of it being the Russians, it's the North Koreans, which, to, I mean, to be honest, is a plausible. lot It's getting a lot more plausible nowadays. But yeah, comment your favorite games you'll have to play. Comment the games that you've pre-ordered or gonna pre-order. I know a lot of people right now are dogging on, or wanting to get, not dogging on, wanting to get Twilight um, Princess, the HD remake for the Wii U. And I will say, I if I had a Wii U, I'd fucking get it because that was an amazing game. I'm turning into a wolf. No, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was that one. And also, Nintendo released, what, Sun and Moon? Uh, no, they did not release. They announced. Announced. There we go. The new Pokemon generations of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. There are also rumors that their third game for that gen will be uh, Pokemon Stars. Hopefully. That is just a rumor. Whether or not that's true is yet to be seen. Personally, I'm what you what everybody calls a Gen Wanner. I played the first and second gens on the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Those were my jam. I stopped Go after that. <laughs> I stopped after that. I had the original three American version, red, yellow, and blue. I also had the Japanese green. And then I had gold, silver, and crystal. Because that was the second gen, and I stopped after that. Because after that, I was in high school. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could have kept playing, but sports took over, and I was doing all that stuff, and I was doing radio, and a whole bunch of other stuff that just took up my time, so... I kind of handed all that over to my younger cousins, and whatever happened to it after that, I have no idea. But yeah, as a final uh, farewell, I will leave most of the stuff that we talked about in the description below. And if you guys want to leave your favorite gaming moments or any other things that we talked about today in the comments, go ahead. Don't be nice or polite. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to get mad or have a hissy fit over it. I mean, <laughs> we all have freedom of speech. I mean, it is our First Amendment. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, for some. <laughs> fortunately, it's a it's a part of the event. It's the First Amendment. Unfortunately, it's the First Amendment because there are some people who don't deserve to speak. No, I'll also be putting my Twitter and Section Eight's Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. You don't have a Twitter? No. Damn. <laughs> I don't twit or twat. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you. I'm sorry. I'm a plebeian. You're a twister. Yeah. I'm per- <laughs> yeah, I will leave most of that stuff in the description below. So feel free to comment and. Oh, you in the ribs. 
like and subscribe to our channels for more content coming. And I hope now, you get if you try to look up my channel, it is in Leet Speak. He will spell it out in the description below. Because unless you know how to spell it, you'll never find it. <laughs> no, I couldn't even find Which it. Which the fact that I've had 7,000 people find it before surprises the hell out of me. When oh. I had no when I had no videos on my channel, I was just liking and whatnot on my other videos and saying, "Hey, these are cool videos." But other than that, I really wasn't doing anything. But now I'm actually uploading videos, and hopefully more will be coming out soon. Also, I want to try to hit 100 subscribers, and if I do, huh, I'll that'd be, be nice if we both hit that. Yeah, I would be doing <laughs> actually if we both do it at the same time, we will be doing a collab on. We need to finish Halo 5. Well, he needs to finish Halo 5. So we're doing a collab on, a walkthrough on Halo 5 and our funny little fuck-ups and experiences. <laughs> there will be plenty of those. Falling off cliffs, shooting each other in the head, running over, running each other over with the trucks. Oh, the trucks. Or the tank. But yeah, like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Later, guys. Peace.